Hello everybody, I am Dane, Dane Cobain from The Art Show on Wickham Sound. We are on every Tuesday, 7pm, live and online, Wickham Sound, 106.6 FM, all that drill. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, by the way, The Art Show on Wickham Sound. And you can email me here on dane.cobain at wickhamsound.org.uk. That's D-A-N-E dot C-O-B-A-I-N at wickhamsound.org.uk. I uh, have been doing my radio show pretty much since the start of COVID, so um, I'd actually been in the studio a few times before that and done a bit of training with uh, Bob, shout out to Bob, uh, and I'd been on um, Claire's show as well. So I did a sort of guest slot each month on her show talking about some of the books that I read. You can see from the sign behind me, uh, I do BookTube, which is basically like a sub-community on YouTube where people talk about books. And um, yeah, when I was given the chance to pitch a show to Wickham Sound, I pitched The Art Show. We're a weekly show, we have a different guest on each week, we share sort of local unsigned and indie music, we have an episode of The Rylight Zone each week where we have like a reading of poetry, short fiction, that sort of thing. And uh, we have Twanglin Jack Ford on each week as well from The Ilk Shed with his weekly album reviews. So it's been a lot of fun to uh, work on this show, I actually still do it all, it's all pre-recorded, I pre-record all the interviews and then pre-record the show. Um, I do a lot of stuff, so it's quite hard for me to find the time to do a live show and to, even to be able to commit to uh, being there the same time each week. I, I also work at Wickham Art Centre. I'm a freelance writer in my spare time as well, so there's just always something happening, basically. So, um, yeah, shout out to the guys at Wickham Sound for allowing me to do my show in kind of my, my own little format, um, basically allowing me to, to fit it in amongst all of the other stuff. Um, so I, I was asked to do a little highlights video and just to talk about some of the sort of bits and bobs that I've, I guess I've learned from doing the show. It's very much evolved since the first episode um, and I like to think for the better. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a challenge finding a different guest each week. Uh, we do sometimes do like highlight shows as well. Um, I haven't missed a show yet. We had one time when um, there was a problem with the files, so two shows went out the wrong, the wrong way round. Um, and there have been a few times when I haven't been able to get a guest or a guest has pulled out for whatever reason. Um, so we did do one show which was a, a, an album review show with uh, Twanglin' Jack Ford and we had about like 12 album reviews. So that was a lot of fun. But yeah, it's been great to kind of reach out to different people. I've been kind of going through a network of people I know from the local area, a few people I know online as well, just to kind of keep things, you know, mixed up and to make sure the guests stay interesting as well. Um, and also people kind of reach out to the show and ask to get involved. And you just sort of hear about people, you know, somebody will send me some MP3s of their band and I'll enjoy the music and then get those on. So um, yeah, it's always fun to do the interviews. They're probably one of the highlights. A little bit stressful, because um, I'm a kind of person who hates talking on the phone and hates Zoom and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, I do it for the show. And, and uh, is, as I say, it's a lot of fun to actually do those and then to go in and edit them and to sort of see the end result. We've also done a couple of memorial shows. A few people um, close to my heart passed away. So um, Sam Pritchard was one of them. He was a local um, musician, um, DJ. He was an events uh, organizer. He was involved in the local art scene. And also uh, Lionel M. McCauley as well, who was a poet, uh, did a lot of spoken word stuff. Both of those have unfortunately passed away since we started the show. And they were both people that I had my eye on as potential guests. So uh, I thought it was only fitting to do memorial shows. So I think at least for me, those two were probably the highlights just because they were so emotional. And again, just my way of kind of giving back and kind of continuing their legacy. Um, but yeah, we've had loads of great guests on. Uh, a lot of the writers were a lot of fun. I mean, we had Stephen Colgan and Paul Waters. Both of those uh, do a show called We'd Like a Word and used to be uh, involved at Wickham Sound. So that was cool. Again, lots of poets, dancers, actors. Uh, Ken Boyser was fascinating, actually. He's another writer who also does some... Um, he does like acting extra and he's also a medium as well. So in fact, he told me that um, the spirits wanted me to read Espadare Street by um, Ian Banks, the Scottish guy. So uh, so I went ahead and read it and the spirits were wrong because I didn't particularly enjoy it. But I did recently read The, the Wasp Factory and that was good. So yeah. Um, it's been a lot of fun being involved in Wickham Sound. I'm coming up to, I mean, I think March will be my uh, two-year anniversary with the station. We're coming up to my 100th show at the moment. And, um, yeah, you can also listen to them again. They're on the, the Wickham Sound website. We distribute them through iTunes and Spotify and all that kind of stuff. I uh, would love it if you check it out and uh, drop me an email if you want to get involved in the show. Again, that's dane.cobain at wickhamsound.org.uk. Thank you, Wickham Sound team, and thank you for listening.